morning everyone. Uh, we all back together here. We got the deep sea crew back together, Chris, Daryl and myself and we arriving here at the harbor now to go do a nice day's deep sea together. Uh, so the plan of action is to launch and head down to Hickman's River to go look for a black muscle cracker and possibly look for some red roman down that side of the world. So we're gonna get the boat launched now and then head out and catch you, and catch you guys out on the water. Okay, so this book here is your, your launch book that you sign in and sign out with. You sign your, your boat name in here and your, your details will be away. Uh, and you, you sign in again once you return back from fishing and this is there so that if something happens out at sea and they see your name, it's not in the book at the end of the day, they know they come looking for you. We are, we are a proud member of the Islam and Steve Boat Club here at the Islam and Harbour. The club, as you see it, has been here for about maybe 50, 60 years. Uh, the 1950s is, to the best of my knowledge, uh, when they started launching here and started making the facilities. It wasn't always, as you see, um, there's been a lot of alterations over the years. Uh, to get it to where it is now, it's a great facility to have to be able to launch here. Uh, let's get out on the boat. as you can see on the echo sounder here just trying to position us over it for the first drift just to see the direction that we're going to drift in and see the direction of the current but the boys back here getting their baits ready and uh, getting baits on their chasers and then once we know what's happening we can head down and see if there's any cob here so we've got old Chris Butcher in a pulchard here getting him ready to go on the hook I'm going to do the same thing quickly looking good got some squid and pilly mix on the bottom a mix crawl and we've got some white mussels on the top there. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a three hook chase going, a three hook circle of chase on the top. I've got a little squid bait that's there to catch a bait fish if he wants to hop on. Then on my middle hook here, I've got a squid and pulchard mix. And on the bottom hook, I've got a straight sardine bait. Uh, and with this setup, I can catch anything from a cob, which I'm going to target, a black mussel cracker. A red roman, a dacharad, anything will hop on there, you can catch anything with that. So we just want to go reposition the boat on the spot and then we can get the lines back in the water. Okay, and as you can see today we're using the conventional deep sea setup. We've got the Shimano Beastmaster boat, medium heavy. You can see it in the frame there. Beastmaster boat, uh, 7 foot medium heavy. And I've got a 9 inch, oh, sorry, yeah, a 9 inch KP Deluxe, no it's a 6 inch. 6 inch KP Deluxia and I've got myself 50 pound suffix braid and yo had a bit of a bite there already so that swivel is there to allow me to guide my line back onto the Scarborough as we are um, winding the line up okay, we had quite a nice bite there let's try to see if we can get it back on got something on yeah knocking around like a soldier or like a Roman Oh, there's Chris on. Just wind it up slowly now. Oh, there we go. We've got a dag. Got a little dacharad and a steen key on the top hook. Steen key's gone. Let's see what size this dag is. It might be pan size. Okay, there's a, another dacharad. Try to get it to go. Come on, off you go. Always nice to see a fish swim away like that. go. Uh, Chris has managed to snag himself a Gielbeck here, which uh, is actually one of our target species, Gielbeck and Cobb. Lekker one there Chris, lekker to see, maybe there's a bigger one around. Check out the, the yellow inside that mouth. Just get a 
back. There it goes. Yo, there's a Scotsman, chaps. Would you look at that? Yeah, there we go. Got another little summing summing on. If you look down there, you'll see Daryl's managed to get himself a beautiful Scotsman on the deck there. Well done, Daryl. It's a beautiful Scotsman. Hopefully we're gonna get a little number plate, yeah? See what I've got. Oh, this reef seems to be alive. We've already gotten three species now. Oh, and we've got an Englishman. I have not seen one of these in a very long time. No, it's a Miss Lucy. Do you look at that? We got ourselves a juvenile Miss Lucy on the bottom hook. And we got a butterfish on the top hook. Whoa. It's actually quite a nice size butterfish. It's a deep sea bluefish. We're gonna check him out. It's gonna be 300, yeah? But yeah, that's a Miss Lucy for you. Nice, beautiful fish. These have to be 400. Let's check this one out while we're out here. Okay. That Miss Lucy is 35 fork length. There we go. Off she goes. Coming up. Yo, it's a big Miss Lucy. There we go. Thank you. Yes, man. Jeez, Daryl. Dad, I'm, got a, Daryl's got a fish on. I'm trying to record on the camera. I'll phone you back. Okay, okay. Dad, I'm trying to record. Oh, my dad phones at the wrong time. Got it? I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Yo, Daryl. Nice one. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Grab him by the tail. Okay. Watch out your top hook. I don't want to hook myself. Daryl, put it there, Buck. That was, that was my aim for this morning. There we go, target and species yeah. acquired. Yeah. Daryl, well done on that fish, eh? What's your thoughts? Like I said earlier, that was my target uh, species for today. Um, yeah, stayed off. But there we go, you can see there is a beautiful cob. It's about eight kilos, I'd say. So yeah, let's get him a picture and get back in the water. Yeah. Things giving you stick. I've got a bite here this side too, which is quite lacquer. There we go, young Stumpy. Yo. <laughs> Is your bait out the stomach? Yo, lacquer one. Yeah, that one went away strong. Right, ladies and gents, you can see there, Daryl's got himself a Scotsman, actually a beautiful of a Scotsman. Your Scotsman has to be 400, minimum size to take home, and I think you're allowed one per person per day, or two per person per day. But Daryl's got a beaut. Yeah, check this on other boats. Nothing yet. Got it? Yeah, we were in here uh, in about 30 meters of water. Nice Lucy, a Scotty and a Cobb. But it's been quiet though, just those three fish. Have you guys fished on the drop yet? Okay, no, no decent takes or anything yet. Dusted back here in the harbour, managed to get uh, three cob, two nice ones, nice Miss Lucy, nice Scotsman and some butterfish which is like a deep sea bluefish. I'm going to get the boat on the trailer and get it home and clean up, so lacquer. It was a beautiful day out there at sea, nice and flat, we've got a couple of beautiful fish. Yeah, thanks again, Carl. Awesome Thank day. Thank you Chris. Thank you. Thank you Daryl and Wolfish. Daryl, Daryl's thanks. the champion today. Yeah. It's flipping well. We got Uncle Tyron Gower here. Welcome, Uncle Tyron and Uncle Eugene. How's it going? Uh, they're from the London Ski Boat Club, and I just want to give you a little bit of the history of the club. And Uncle Tyron, just let me know where the club started, when it started, and how it got to where it is today. Well, geez, in the 70s, it started across the other side of the bridge over there when uh, I think that uh, we still had a big fisheries going there. Yeah. And uh, then it moved on. This club was built by a lot of the members, they put the money in. And uh, I think this club started in about 1976, if I remember yeah. correctly. And uh, yeah, we've many got moons ago. many moons ago. We've got about uh, 
350 members here. I think we've got uh, 68 boats registered, so yeah. And the club's strong. Um, we just love fishing. Yeah, that's it. Well, both of our boats are registered. Yeah, so it's been great. So I've grown up with Uncle Tyron and Eugene. I started off as a little light here. I remember Uncle Tyron at the, all the nationals. He does all the competition secretary work and everything. Yeah, when we've had modern nationals, yeah. And, you know, all the laughs and jokes. I was a kid with verbal diarrhea. I mean, catfish put on my head, you know. Stirring the pot. Uh, I, I, I thought, yeah. yeah. Eugene would probably tell you the story about the catfish because he grew up in front of us. Yeah. And, uh, man, I think he's learned from all the experienced fishermen around. Well and we're proud of him. Yeah, yeah. very proud. We like that you go with you guys. Thank you for everything over the years. I mean, yeah, yeah. a lot of memory, yeah. a lot of heritage, and a lot of history. So, yeah. yeah Eugene has a little thing about a. Something on the top of his head. I don't know what it was, did but uh, what is that with Carl? With Carl, yeah, oh, yeah. He, he, was, he was so naughty when he was younger. And, yeah, we used to tease him, and uh, you know what? He's just um, you know, just uh, risen to the top, and we're very proud of him, eh? Yeah, very well done. Yeah, yeah that's thank a long, you. That's but for everything over the years, you man. must you must remember that your dad <laughs> has been your supportive man all the years. That's it. And just as part of the club, that uh, we we uh, uh, we're trying to get the 2022 World Butterfish Championship to be hosted out of East London by Border. I'm the president of Border, so I'm pushing to get our club uh, worldwide. Uh, uh, um, what's the word? Worldwide uh, coverage. Coverage, yeah. yeah. So yeah, guys, uh, please. Anybody that wants to come here, phone us up and come and enjoy it. Sure. And there's a great restaurant upstairs. Uncle Wayne and his wife, Auntie Vanessa, cook some awesome food. The bar is always open. The restaurant's always open. Give them a call and they'll open up for you. Yeah. So and come check it out. We are the home of the Red Stemros, the coppers. And uh, yeah, we really enjoy fishing. Thank you. Laka, thanks, guys. Go well. Laka chaps, just cleaning up the boat and then we can clean our fish and get them all filleted and then everyone will be on their way and then tonight we've got plans to do a Cajun Miss Lucy stir fry so I think that's going to come out quite nice they've been wanting to do it for a while you can just jump off into the rods and utensils <laughs> So my fishing partner Daryl here, yeah, um, he's quite an expert at filleting, you're used to seeing me filleting fish but um, we're going to let Daryl show you his way of filleting today and Daryl doesn't leave a single piece of meat on the bone and it's probably the neatest filleting you'll ever see. See why I've turned it over, it's easy to to get the fillet off, otherwise you cut the one side off and then the fish bows and it's like, it's just awkward to get off the bone. Yeah, what he means is if you um, fillet the one fillet off and you go to the other side, the fish is going to be lying at an angle like that. that. And then you're going to miss pieces on the bone and you're going to battle to find the backbone on the second side. Okay, so you're going to try and pull it even and not hack the fish. Alright, so this Miss Lucy that you see here came to a weight of 4 kilos on the dot and once you hit the 4 kilo mark in a Miss Lucy you can be quite happy, it's quite a decent fish and I'm pretty stoked. Actually I do think back, back years ago in 2010 at the Bottom Fish Nationals for Juniors yeah, in East London I did get one of 4.6 kilos but I haven't got one like this for a long time so I'm super stoked to have one to be able to chow. Flip it back over now. Same as that on the, on the other side. Just try and keep the edge of the blade on, on the backbone as you pull it through. While Daryl's busy, um, the notification bell. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you know when new videos come out. And if you hit it, every time a video comes out, you'll get a notification from YouTube or via your Gmail account saying that we've got a video out. So go tap that button, guys. Catchcook.com, there's a link in the description, you'll be able to find your merchandise there. We've got all sorts ranging from GoPros to fishing shirts, wetsuit pants, you name it, it's there. Look at that, two perfect fillets, not a single piece of meat left on that bone. So for this Miss Lucy, lady in red, red stump nose, whatever you want to call her, um, that we had a male Miss Lucy that you could see by the shape of the head because the males fight for the territory on the reef. The plan is we're going to make a Cajun stir fry for it. So the first thing is I want to cut this fish up 
into strips about that long and that wide, which we're going to cover in Robertson's Cajun Spice. And then we've got some mixture of canola and extra virgin olive oil. So the first step here, we want to get the ribs out and we want to get all the deboned pieces out of here. Back into cut here because we've got a fin underneath. Okay, here's the first piece. We'll get back to this piece. Now, I'm going to be doing it with a skin on. A lot of people would skin the fish, but we personally in this family enjoy the flavor of the skin. The skin's just got that extra touch to it. Let's just do, cut it down the middle and get through the skin. It's perfect. Now we're going to take these and cut them into blocks. Okay, pieces of fish are ready. So that's not a stress. We're going to put that in a bag and we'll cook that later. For starters, we're going to use quite a bit of spice here. But flavors are going to soak beautifully into this meat. Okay, and just like that, your fish is spiced and ready. We're now going to leave that for a few more minutes. That's just going to sit and let the flavors soak in. In the meanwhile, it should be enough. We can always add some more. Got it on. It's got uh, five power settings. We've got it on three out of five. We don't want it to be too hot, but uh, we don't want it to cook too slowly. So we've got it in the middle. Slide them all around a bit and they won't stick. I just wish you could smell the smell that we smell in this side. It just smells insanely good. Look at that. It's starting to go golden already after the first turn. So the main problem is to just keep it all in one piece while it's in the pan. And once it's out the pan, we won't have a problem. We have got some Nature's Garden Hawaiian stir fry. We're going to take that and put it in the same oil that the fish is cooked in to give it the same flavors. As you can see there now, most of our fish pieces are done, especially these smaller ones. It's not overcooked and it's still nice and moist. Now you can see this stir fry is a mixture of green peppers, red peppers, carrots, beans, um, red onion, we've got pineapple in there, we've got some sweet corn and a bit of normal onion. Just drizzle that nicely with a healthy serving of olive oil. But with this, we're going to add a little bit more of this Cajun spice. Put it through the, the sift. Just add a little bit in for that flavor because we've added more olive oil and there's a lot of veg in here. That's soaking up inside here. And again, this veg is also smelling really good in the sauce and with the, the flavors that the fish has left behind. And you want to cook your fish first so that you can put your veg in that same oil to get all those sauces soaked up into the veg. I have been caught a little bit off guard here. Yeah. Now with fish you normally need some garlic and something lemony. And I don't have either here at the moment. But I have got some of my trusty Robertson's Spice for Fish, which has garlic and lemon in it. So I'm going to throw a little bit of that into the stir fry. And with that I'm going to put some Robertson's Italian herbs just to give it a little bit of extra flavor. Give you that lemony garlic zesty taste that we need for the fish. As you can see, those herbs and the fish spice is cooking through with the Cajun spice here. So we just want to get all the stir fry in the bowl. We're going to take our fish pieces here. We're going to place them on top. T chuck a couple of cherries in here for uh, the ladies and gents to take out as they dish up. We have got ourselves a Cajun Miss Lucy stir fry with cherries on the top. Literally with cherries on the top. And that brings us to the end of this video. Um, we had a great day out on the sea. It's been one of our better days in the, in the last couple months. It's been a bit slow down this side, but it's nice to see the coast is recovering. The fish are coming back in our areas. Daryl got himself, uh, he caught three cob, and there was three of us on the boat, so we each managed to take a fry home. And, and then I took myself a Miss Lucy, which we've done our supper with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share this video with your friends, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers, guys.